Hey guys, Garage Max out here. Today I'm going to be taking apart this T560 uh, to show you a couple of the upgrade options that you've got with this laptop. I really like these laptops, but they are slightly different uh, than some of the other ThinkPads. So uh, today I'm going to show you a 32 gigabyte RAM upgrade as well as your solid state drive options. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to flip it over and you're going to remove the battery, which are these two clips right here and it will slide right out. The next thing that you're going to do is remove all of the bottom case screws along the outside. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to remove this bottom base from the top casing, which is where the keyboard is. This base comes off. And essentially the way that I look at this is from the back here. Uh, this is probably the easiest way to get to it, this back here. And I'll actually use a spudger tool here to get it open. Okay, so now you have access to a couple of things. First, probably the main reason that you guys are trying to open this up is the RAM here. RAM is really easy on this laptop. Uh, once you've got the cover off, there you go. It's super easy, just like any other RAM upgrade. Going at a 45 degree angle, make sure that it's fully seated in there. Make sure it clicks into place. And uh, again, the max RAM on this is 32 gigabytes. So you can see this one's already at 32 gigabytes to 16 gig sticks. So obviously uh, I don't have anything to upgrade to, um, but if you only had one stick in there, you'd go ahead and add. If you have one of a lower density, of course, go ahead and uh, add your replacement sticks. I'll include a link in the description. Okay, if you want to upgrade this to a solid state drive, uh, essentially you're gonna be looking right here. This is the hard drive. It does have this uh, metal kind of foil over top of it, uh, but you're gonna remove two screws and one cable, and then you'll have access. So this one cable just pops right up. And then you've got one here, and one here. That will remove this. And then you've got one more screw removed right here. That will allow you to take out the caddy. Just like that. Okay. And this caddy will come right up. Now, I wanted to pull this up so I could show you guys uh, something pretty cool here. Most newer laptops like this uh, are restricted to a thinner seven millimeter drive like this one. Uh, this one actually gives you a little bit more space so you can use a thicker drive. Most of the ones that you buy today are gonna to be this thinner format, uh, but it is cool that you've got enough space should you need it. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna leave this drive in here, but I wanted to show you guys how to upgrade this. Uh, essentially, this will just pop right out. Uh, it's just little plastic pops in here, just like that. Same thing on the back, and this caddy comes off. Uh, again, if I were to upgrade, I'd just throw this in here. Um, this laptop is, is not destined for an upgrade right now, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the spinner hard drive back in it, but you just swap it out. This comes off just like that, and that's what connects it. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this one back in here because this one, again, is not getting an upgrade right now, but that's how you would upgrade this. 
uh, really easy. Uh, when I first got one of these laptops, I was actually a little bit concerned because generally the ThinkPads have this nice panel on the bottom uh, and it allows you to do upgrades really easily. Uh, this one, of course, looks like it doesn't have a panel. The issue is that the whole bottom is a panel, so it takes that extra step of using the spudger and going around the sides, uh, but it's still relatively easy uh, to get this thing upgraded. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back together. And that's that's really all you need to do if you wanna max this thing out. It's, it's pretty easy to, and really cool that this comes with a sixth generation Intel processor and a max RAM of 32 gigs, even though it's only on DDR3. So uh, if you've got one of these, you're trying to give it a little bit of extra life, you're in luck, you've got tons of options here. I'll put options in the description so that you guys uh, can kind of take your pick on how you want to upgrade yours. Uh, again, these are really solid laptops. I like them. They're not quite as solid as like the older, the older series. They, they do have a little bit of flex in them. Uh, just based on the way that they're designed. Um, however, still uh, definitely lives up to the ThinkPad name. Keyboard is top notch on these things. You're not gonna find a better, better keyboard. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how you can upgrade this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble it. I hope this video helps somebody. Uh, and if it does, please like, leave me a comment, and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.